Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video I'll be talking about the gear shift lever on my Vogue 300 Rally. I have been asked a question about it and I've seen a couple of um, reviews where people say there is a problem with the gear lever being too short and they can't change gear. There have been issues about the uh, people saying about the gear change lever being a bit short and awkward to get at and it doesn't bend but it does bend if you bend it <laughs> and this did go over once and bent it slightly um, but that should be bendable if I could replace this I would with a with a one that folds but I'll show you my views on it um, I tell you now I'm not a professional rider I'm not an instructor I'm a hobby rider and um, this off-roading is just a hobby of mine just a passion um, I have size 11 boots and I have no real issues with it at all um, but what I did is I compared it to and I made some measurements between this gear shift lever and the foot pedal and that on my Triumph Tiger gear shift lever and the foot pedal and uh, there's an interesting comparison which I'll just show you now As you can see, there's not a lot of difference, half a centimetre. So it's, it's quite amazing that people have trouble. But then we all got different feet and wear different boots. What I did find though, there's a difference when I wear my CD Adventure boots to where, when I wear my CD Enduro boots because of the shape of the sole. On the Adventure boots, they're flat and on the Enduro boots, they're curved. I also measured the sole of the boot and found that the Endura boot was about 0.75 of a centimetre longer. I compared the position of the boots on the bike with the toe under the gear shift pedal. This showed that the heel of the Enduro boot has to be raised higher in order to get the toe under the gear shift pedal. So it's uh, more awkward to get your toe under for upshifting. When I first bought the bike, I removed the gear shift pedal and moved it up one notch on the spline, which made it easier. For okay, to my left foot, there, there's the gear pedal. And going down, obviously, is very easy. Going up, I get my toe under there to the, uh, the patch on the boot for rubbing, the rubbing patch, quite easily. So I don't see a problem with this gear pedal in these boots. In my Enduro boots, it's a bit different because of the shape of the boot. But anyway, I'm going to do some gear changes and tell you what I'm doing. So we're in first gear now, up to second. And I learnt from a guy a while ago to do clutches changes. You don't have to use the clutch. If I think about it, my Tiger's got a quick shift which does not engage the clutch. It just shuts the throttle down for a split second before it changes gear. And that's for changing up and down, so there's no clutch applied there. And I found the same here. I just changed down there without touching the clutch and it did it. A bit extreme. I went the wrong way actually. <laughs> but here we are. So I'm going downhill, you don't want to engage the clutch because you lose traction, push it down one. But if you're going slow enough, that will cause no damage to the bike. If you're going too fast, now I'm going to change up, up, no, no clutch whatsoever. So as long as the throttle is off, disengaged. So with that pedal, I don't find it a problem myself. I do use the clutch, I don't always do clutches changes, sitting down mostly I will use it. So let's do a bit more clutchless upshifting, standing up. So we're now in third, throttle off up, throttle off up, throttle down off, throttle down down. No problem whatsoever, clutchless gear changing. 
11 and I've got size 11 boots as I said and they're getting under that pedal In summary then, do I have problems with gear change pedal? No, it is a bit more awkward with the enduro boots but I got used to that um, Would I change it? Yes, for a one that folds uh, in case the bike goes over again which is bound to happen isn't it, let's be honest um, I hope you find the Vizio uh, useful um, and it has answered the question. And thanks for watching. See you next time.